Did I do it correctly without messing up Mr.'s TV? No idea, but I did mute the TV. <laughs> Fun fact, I've said it once, I'll say it again. I do not know how to like work these. There's too many of them for my brain to wrap around. Anyway, it is the end of the day Sunday, actual Mr.'s birthday. Everybody say happy birthday happy over birthday. there. <laughs> We just got back from dinner and I went ahead and um, put my pajamas on. I am remaking yarn from a sweater I made previously that was cute, but I didn't like the way it fit, so I frogged it. Now I'm remaking it and I don't know if I have enough yarn. Um, and I've already frogged that one once already, so technically the yarn's been frogged twice um, because the first time I did the yoke, it was too big. Uh, we'll see. I do think it's either Loops and Threads or whatever the Joanne store brand is, anti pilling. Um, I, I, maybe I can get more, maybe I can't, I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to do the body, put the ribbing on the bottom, put the ribbing around the neck, and whatever, if anything, is left over, if I can get that far, then I'll make sleeves. It might be short sleeve if I have yarn left over from that, but I guess we'll find out. Anyway. That's pretty much all I've done today. Mr. went out and did archery. I mean, not archery. The archery other the archery, archery was yesterday. Yeah, the other day, yesterday. Yeah, he did other range stuff with pew pews. Yeah, uh, today with um, the adopted kids. And then they came back and we had lunch and we watched Casablanca, which we haven't seen in a long time. And the kids had never seen. I forgot what a good story it is. But anyway. We'll always have Paris. We'll always have Paris. So anyway. Um, we're going to sit and have some iced coffee now. I'm going to do some more work on my sweater and I will see you all tomorrow. New babysitting schedule, but supposedly not all day. We'll find out what happens. All right. Good morning, oh. everybody. You're sort of precariously propped up on the dashboard, but that's okay. Uh, I, it's Monday morning. It's just before 10 a.m. I'm supposed to be babysitting today, but I got a message from daughter a little while ago that her appointment this morning um, was uh, rescheduled. And so I'm not babysitting. So I got the day off unexpectedly. Uh, so I think I figured out where the yarn is from that I'm working on the current sweater project. I am sort of playing yarn chicken and I'm like 99% sure I'm not gonna have enough yarn to do what I want. Um, I could make it work and alter my plans, but, or frog it again, but I am going to go try and see if I can get more yarn and if the colorway uh, or dye lot is similar enough that you can't really notice. So we will see, uh, I'm pretty sure it's from Joann's, it's their anti-pilling yarn. Um, their house brand, Big Twist. So we'll see if that works. And then I have some sewing projects I want to do. So I think I'm just going to relax and work on the crochet and work on some sewing projects and yeah, do that. So, all right. I think that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hello guys. So I didn't vlog since this morning because Ooh. I've been too busy sewing all afternoon. Oh my God. <laughs> I made another carpet bag. I'll put what a pic. Bag? I'll put a picture here. A car carpet bag a is carpet a technical bag. term. Mm. Anyway, I spoke about it last week. The link is in the video description of last week's vlog. The pattern. What did I say? Carpet bag. Anyway, the pattern's in the video description of last week's vlog. Maybe yesterday. Um, Maybe today. So yeah, this new one is made out of felted wool scraps I had in my collection and I quilted them together, added an iron-on fusible um, sort of padded poly fleece backing, which I use in all the bags when I make them. And uh, yeah, turned out so cute, this one. I love the green one too, but this one's cute. Um, anyway, they're a lot of fun to make. I wasn't going to do that this afternoon. I was going to do other stuff, but you know, creativity leads you where it wants to go, not where you want to go sometimes. Anyway, we're going to go get some steps in, go for a walk. And that way I can finish my ravioli from last night. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. 
make up some calories so I can eat the ravioli. And then maybe have some leftover cake. Cake. We cake? have, yeah, we have cake. Ice cream cake. I still didn't make a pot of coffee yet, iced coffee, but maybe we can do iced coffee in the Keurig. Um, I only had one cup this morning because I still had the taste of coffee from last night. Mm. Never enough coffee. Mm. Anyway, we're going to go get some steps in and see what we can see. I'll yeah, be guys, back. I'm going to take the chance to vlog for a second while my hands are free. Uh, Good idea. If you hear the squeaking, that's because we're out with the stroller with Junior walk, taking a walk before nap time. It's babysitting day. And uh, all that means I won't get a whole bunch of creative stuff done, but I'll get something done. Anyway, we'll see how the day progresses. In the meantime, we're gonna get some exercise in and then go home and little one needs to nap. And yeah, that'll be the time when I try to do some crocheting or something. So we'll see. Oh yeah, schmutz, uh, dog schmutz, if you get my drift. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. It is Thursday morning, well, afternoon. It's just after lunch. I'm not babysitting today. I don't think I vlogged yesterday like at all or much uh but because I, I babysat all day nine miles turn right onto southwest roy rogers road thank you jeeves um anyway um i uh, was babysitting all day and working on my current crochet project pretty much all day um, I um, am finishing up the sweater. I should be able to finish it up today or tomorrow. I'm just doing the ribbing right now. I did have to go buy more yarn because I didn't want to quote unquote make it work. I wanted to have the sweater I wanted. Um, but anyway, this morning we're babysitting um, grand dog Lily for a few days because um, <clears throat> daughter and son-in-law and grandson are going out of town uh, for a couple of days, which I can tell you because they won't be home. By the time you see this, they'll be home. Anyway, um, so we're watching the dog because they can't take her with them. And um, that's fine. I had to wait this morning until they dropped her off in case hubby was in a meeting online or something for work. Now I've had lunch and all of that. I've done some more work on the sweater and I am going to go out. I'm driving to Daiso first and then I'm gonna to go to Dollar Tree. I actually need a new eyeglass case because yesterday grandson has a particular case of mine he likes to play with, which is fine. It was kind of thrash anyway because previously he chewed a hole in the fabric covering. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, he broke the case. He finally broke it. I knew that was coming, so that's fine. Um, so I need a new eyeglass case, so we'll go take care of that. Um, and I'm looking for a couple other things. I keep sharing crochet hooks with adopted daughter Jenny, which is fine, but I don't always get him back. So, which is also fine technically, but the obsessive compulsive part of me um, isn't really okay with that. So I'm gonna go see if I can find some um, inexpensive crochet hooks, which honestly I do like to keep around because they're great for traveling. I don't want to bring my furls or even my clover hooks traveling. They cost, especially the furls, they cost too much money. Um, so, and I don't want them taken away at TSA or something. So I usually travel with an inexpensive hook or a plastic hook. So I like to keep extras of those around. So we're going to go look for, looking for that. Uh, of course at Daiso I always look for um, unusual snacks for hubby, so we're gonna go do that. He's got lodge tonight, <clears throat> so he'll be gone. So it'll just be me and Lily. Um, I don't usually take her for a walk by myself because she's a little hard to control, but we'll see. And in 1,000 feet, yeah. use the right lane to turn right. I have to catch up on daily drawings and yeah, there's stuff to do. So, but that's okay. Cause I have like four days off of babysitting. So it's all good. I'll be back. Bob is off to his Masonic meeting and I've been crocheting the afternoon away. The blue sweater I'm currently working on is almost done. It's Joanne's big twist living anti-pill and spa. 
Um, anyway, it's almost done. And then I was pulling the yarn for the next one, which is an, an olivey green color. I think I'm gonna use the same pattern, but instead of granny clusters, I'm gonna just do the whole thing, uh, probably double crochet. Um, it'll look slightly different and use a little bit less yarn. So anyway, we are gonna catch up on October drawings. I'm out of breath because I just walked quickly up the stairs. Um, Grand Dog is, I think, downstairs watching Pop Pop go somewhere without her and she's not happy. Anyway, we're going to do our drawings and then we are going to go downstairs and do some more crocheting and feed her in a little bit because it's almost din din time. So, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. So guys, yeah, that's Lily is Lily's normal place for hanging out, especially when Pop Pop is not home. And I think she's gonna just sit there until I'm done. <laughs> Go downstairs with her. <laughs> like a, you know, somebody standing over your shoulder tapping their foot. <laughs> anyway, it's all right. Okay, got that done. Um, the sweater's almost done. We're gonna get pre get their next sweater done. So it's all good. I picked up some more inexpensive crochet hooks at both Dollar Tree and Daiso. They have hooks that I love to use when I'm traveling. And, or if somebody like my adopted daughter is over and she wants to borrow some yarn to work on a project while she's here and later take it home, she can take one of those hooks and I won't really miss it. So anyway, I also found these boxes at Daiso and I think I'm gonna use them for my ever-growing stitch marker collection. <laughs> but yeah, for right now, I think we're all done up here for the moment. Oh, that's a piece of fabric I dropped to the floor because, you know, it's a thing when you knock it over, things go flying. Okay, so I think Crazy Pants and I can go downstairs. She's probably hungry. She's kind of giving me the side eye. So we'll get that done. I'll make myself a cup of broth and some bread and sit and listen to some YouTube while I finish my blue sweater. <laughs> She's all like, wait, are you talking about me? Are we going downstairs? Is food involved? <laughs> She's just like, yeah, anyway. All right, okay, I'll be back. The blue sweater is done. Yay, this is cute. I've made this pattern before. I have a black one. I'm going to make, I think, the same pattern in the green. Um, but instead of doing the clusters, I think I'm just going to do it solid with a double crochet that will use up a little bit less yarn. So hopefully that'll work because I would still like it long sleeve. That way I can just do this if I want. But if I'm cold, I can do that. Anyway, it turned out really good. I really like it. So... That's it for the minute. I'm gonna put this away, put my other sweater back on that I made. By the way, this one that you've been seeing me wear today is made from repurposed yarn from a thrifted sweater. And I've worn this a few times, I really love it. It's a cotton blend yarn. So anyway, really, really lightweight, but real comfy. All right, I'm gonna go back downstairs and maybe start on the next sweater. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll figure it out. I have time. Check in and make sure the dog is okay. It's probably a good idea, 
I hear her caller. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, this is as political as we're going to get on this channel. Will all of you survey people stop calling me? Holy cow. Just stop. I'm not going to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Don't just stop calling me. The spam calls are crazy. Anyway, um, I spent the afternoon just relaxing and doing some sewing. I started working on this. Um, I don't like the darts. I actually think tomorrow I might sit and seam rip this part of the top and redo that and take the darts out. I don't like the way it fits. I do want it to be loose as it's supposed to be, um, but um, it should look more like that. And the darts just make it poke out right here, like really weirdly. And I might take the sides in a little, a little bit. So anyway, I'm gonna work on that tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna take my time with it because I want it to come out right. So there's that. Um, and yeah, other than that, I'm gonna just sit and do some crocheting. It's Friday, no kids tonight though. Um, we will probably go out for a W-A-L-K after Mr. gets off of work. Um, and um, we'll probably put off grocery shopping until tomorrow. Um, because we have the dog and it would just be easier. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Anyway, it's been raining on and off all day, which is fine. I've been listening to YouTube and Reddit stories and working on that. But yeah, I think I have to seam rip it. And I might even seam rip it tonight and get that part fit. I don't know. It's already after three, so we'll see. But yeah. Uh, the darts bother me. So, all right, I'll be okay, back. Okay, guys, I didn't do it tomorrow. I did it this afternoon. I, I sat and spent. I sat and spent about an hour. I took the darts out of the upper top of this dress. It just the darts looked weird. But that also meant I could take the colored band off the bottom, which I did, which I like it better without it. So, tomorrow, we'll be making the skirt and putting the skirt on. <laughs> which we've, I've already draped a little bit haphazardly, but I kind of like it. It's supposed to be haphazard. I'll put a picture here. Anyway, as you can hear, we're out with nut job, not Bob, crazy pants the dog. Yeah, Lily. <laughs> we're gonna take her for a walk. She sees squirrels. The she's she she's insane. Anyway. And then tomorrow I'll continue to do some sewing, but when we get back tonight, I'll work on my crochet project. So there's that. All right. It's about 63 degrees out, so definitely sweatshirt weather. I'm not mad about it. Yeah, I'm good. So we're going to go get some steps in and then chill for the rest of the evening. I'm okay Never with good that. When you start off the day looking for your phone and it's in your pocket. Just, uh, Crazy Pants is still here. Bob is off to a Masonic event, so she's pouting a little bit because Pop Hop is her favorite, like grandson, and Oma spends too much time in the art room. I don't know to tell you. Anyway, I didn't think this would happen this morning, but I did get the dress done, and... I really like it. Yes, it's loose and oversized and baggy, but if you've been watching what I've been sewing lately, that seems to be my thing. Um, I could at some point, if I want to, add elastic or a tie to the back, but I think for the moment, I'm gonna leave it as is. I kind of like it. And um, it is lined, it's a little heavier um, than I think the original pattern calls for because I'm not using one thin, single, lightweight layer of fabric. Um, I also chose obviously to do the skirt differently even than I the still image I showed you. Um, I just, I didn't want all the fuss, um, especially with this pattern. It's not a solid color fabric. And I just, the more I tried to put the gathers or the pleats or the, it was too much. I did pleat the skirt. I did leave it loose and wide. Um, and I did put two pockets on it instead of one. Um, but I really, I really like it. I can see me layering it over, um, a long sleeve t-shirt and some leggings wearing it around. Yeah. So really cute. So that's done. 
Um, I'm going to catch up on daily drawings this morning while I'm still waiting for Bob to get back. And then I think Crazy Pants and I will just hang out until he gets here. Then we'll go for a WALK really quick, and then he and I are going to go to the grocery store. Somewhere in there I have to water the house plants, but, you know. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, before we close the vlog, let's be super professional and prop you up on a tissue box. Because, you know, that's what we do around here. Okay. Anyway, I finished this dress today. It is loose, but if you've been following my vlogs for a while, you know that the clothing I've been making is on the looser side. I just find it comfortable. Most of the time, I don't want to be bothered. And, I mean, it's this cute print. Um, but, yeah, I really, really like it. I also started working... Before I even started sewing this, I started working with some wool that I had in my stash um, to make a sweater. I wasn't sure what exactly I was going to make, what kind of sweater. And I was starting off with making sort of a v-neck sweater. I think I'm going to actually make... I'm going to lower you just a minute. drop you on the floor. I failed at that, by the way. Um, okay, you still need to be lower. Does that work? Yeah, maybe. So I started out with um, my standard raglan v-neck sweater thing that I've been doing, and I decided, you know what? How cute would that be if it was like a wrap? And the color kind of, it goes with the dress. How cute would that be? So before I started on the dress, I started on this sweater. I was gonna do my basic like raglan style um, sweater, um, a v-neck probably, and I decided I was making it. Not only does the color kind of go with the fabric in the dress, but how cute would that be to do like something with wrap with like four buttons um, and have it be longer so that it comes down to about here, some slits in the side. So I'll reach under the sweater. I can still access the giant pockets, of course, that I put on the dress. I think the color is really, really cute with the dress. So I worked on that today after I got the dress done. I didn't expect to get that much creativity done and into today's schedule, but I did, which was great. I just stepped sideways and did something to my my hip. I getting old isn't for sissies. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, you know, it's been a challenge to get creativity into the schedule, even for five minutes. Sometimes it's just a little bit of crocheting at the end of the evening. But that's okay, I can get something in and that works. And I think that's why I've picked up sewing and crochet and like cross stitch and embroidery is back on my radar. So look for that coming up soon. Um, Cause those are easy things to do, to take with me, to do on the on the go. Um, the cross, the, the crochet especially is easy to do while Junior's napping um, when I'm babysitting. So that's good. But yeah, um, the dress came out really cute. It's a, you know, little loose, but I've been making clothes like that lately. I really like it. It's not that I'm getting fat and gaining weight. That's that's not it. I just like things to be comfortable, you know, and I don't care what people think about what I'm wearing. Uh, anyway, um, I do have another project that I want to fix, um, which these are for, but that'll be in an upcoming vlog. Um, I've been looking at and watching different, um, YouTube channels, small new creative channels, um, channels that have nothing to do with art or creativity, like Code Blue Cam and Rocky Kanaka, but don't watch his channel if you don't want to like adopt all the dogs. It's not good. <laughs> um, and Everything Auto people pay for parking oh my god you're gonna get towed and then don't complain because you parked in the no parking zone Ugh. anyway if you have channels that um you enjoy watching creative or not um let me know put some links down in the comments below and i will start sort of a list for people and um try to bookmark things and and put the links down below and um yeah let's Let's share some of those new YouTubers. I've been around a while, although I don't have a ton of subscribers. Um, so I'd appreciate a like, share, and subscribe. But it's not about that. It's about just sharing what's out there. And uh, yeah, I would really, 
I would really enjoy you guys cluing me in on some channels that you like. Uh, anyway, that's it for this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out that video description, not only for those links, but for ways to support the free content here on YouTube. And go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I might actually do something with that jacket next week. I don't know. I got to figure out what to do with it first. If you have ideas, let me know. If you want a better look, let me know. All right, that's it for right now. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.